Our next guest recently took first place in the Rally of Canterbury. Leading the rally from start to finish, she has not only become the first Otago driver to claim an NZRC victory, but also the first woman to win an NZRC event. I'm really excited to have her here. Would you please welcome to the cafe rally car driver, Emma Gilmore! <laughs> Emma, congratulations on that win. After 12 years, it must have felt good. How did you feel? Uh, it was just so much sort of uh, relief, I guess, after so many years of trying. And I've had so many people support me over the years to finally sort of repay all of their efforts. It was just, yeah, it was really satisfying. Because you've been second, what, three times, haven't you? Yeah, we've, we've finished runner-up in the New Zealand Championship three times. And uh, and I've finished second in events many, many times, but we've never, <laughs> ever top, taken the top step of the podium. Always the bridesmaid, never <laughs> the bride. Yeah, until, until now, yeah. until now now. Yeah. Um, half of the competitors didn't even finish the race, did they? No, it was a very high attrition. It was a really difficult rally. It was uh, really, really frosty morning, so the roads are really icy and slippery, and then there was a couple of fords that were quite deep, which gave people mechanical problems, and yeah, so it was a, it was a challenging event, so it was a, a satisfying one. How tough is this sport? Uh, very tough. It's uh, there's so many mistakes. Obviously, you can make as a driver. Uh, you're just you know getting the braking spot wrong or turning in too tight and rolling your car. And and then there's also your navigator. They are also open to making mistakes. And then you have all the mechanical potential things that can go wrong with your car. So there are so many things that. Uh, mm. can go wrong with it, that uh, when you finally have a, a nice event with no problems and you have a win, it's it's really, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Finally, yeah. yes. So when, did, when did you start with the rallying? Uh, I was actually quite late, so I started in my 20s. I'd done horse riding right through my teenage years and then uh, I always enjoyed driving and uh, finally had a go at, at driving and uh, on gravel and it was just like a duck to water, I just loved it. Horse riding, did you grow up in the country? Uh, no, actually. I, I, we sort of grew out in the suburbs and mum and dad were really good at supporting uh, me and my sister with our, our activities and back in the day I suppose you had uh, empty sections that you could graze ponies on which is probably not so much the case now but yeah we had a good pony club and that kind of thing that we were involved with. And we're just having a look at you driving here. I mean it just looks like it's scary. <laughs> if I was doing that I would be scared. Um, what you know? What is running through your mind when you perhaps are getting to you know a, a tricky part of the course do you ever fear for your life no no I, I think it's the, the challenge with the car is that you sort of you see a car and you think they'll all handle the same but there's so many things within a car that you adjust to your driving style so when the car is set up as I like it it's just an extension of yourself and you're not actually thinking anything about what the car's doing it just yeah you're just thinking about the next corner and how to get there as fast as possible mm. Do you find that sexism rears its ugly head as a female rally car driver? Uh, Is that something you stumble across very often? You're always going to get the comment that, you know, um, you know, girl, woman drivers and that kind of thing. Not from the ones that know you, I take it. No, well, that's the thing. I think I've been uh, doing it long enough now in New Zealand that the guys all respect me as being just a competitor. Yeah, they're not uh, that stupid, are they? No, no, but uh, it's... Not especially um, when you've just beaten them all too. <laughs> but it's, it's been a, a double-edged sword because it's, it's been great for um, my media profile and mm. the fact people remember you. So, well, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah, so I, I definitely don't berate it. And what are you like, Emma, when you're on the roads around Dunedin on the motorways? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you tend uh, to, you know... It's interesting because when I got into motorsport, I used to be a bit of a speedster on the road and, uh, and I love going fast, but through motorsport, I had, I've had some good accidents and you appreciate how vulnerable you are in a road-going car and I definitely wouldn't want to have an accident in a car without a roll cage, without my helmet, without my safety belts and all those things. So you, you feel quite vulnerable when you go back out on the road and you know someone is coming towards you at the same speed with just a painted line between you. It's, you know, it's well, okay. Emma going, pass us now, <laughs> <laughs> take yeah, over right. now. Yeah. Very safety conscious. And um, what do you like at, uh, say, PlayStation games with driving? Uh, I'm terrible. Are you? Oh, yeah. okay, that's I good get car sick too. <laughs> Oh, oh no. so that's why you're the driver, you can't yeah. be the passenger. But you juggle also your rally car driving with um, full-time work as well. You've got a, a car yard. Yes. So you're I own, in business. Yeah, I own Gilmore Motors in Dunedin. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's definitely a bit of a challenge uh, doing both. A I, bit uh, of a challenge. You make the, you're the queen of the understatement, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yes, you're right. Yeah, but it, as with anything in life, like you, you get good people around you, and, and that's where I'm very lucky with my team in Dunedin. I've got a great team um, that helped me with the business, and likewise with my rally car and running that team. 
team. They're a wonderful team as well. So, yeah, I, I, I'm here on the on the couch taking all the limelight, but it's it's all the people behind me that allow me to do what I do. You are so awesome. OK, what <laughs> is next? Uh, I'm actually off to Italy uh, to compete in a cross-country rally uh, called the Italian Baja, which is quite different to the rallying that uh, we do here in New Zealand, where we rally around roads. Uh, Not cross-country, by the way. I just okay. heard this. Yeah. <laughs> So last year I, I won a, a scholarship type event where I, I got to learn about cross country rallying. So it's like Parry Dakar kind of events like you might see on TV with sand dunes and quite different kind of like navigational as well as getting around tr different terrain. So stuck in the middle of the desert going, which way do I go? <laughs> pretty much, thing. pretty much. Oh, that'll be stuck fascinating for you. And, yeah, so really, really different challenge and lots of fun. So I did an event in Qatar back in April and uh, through that I've got another opportunity to go back and, and compete in it. Thanks so much for joining us today and we wish you every success in the future. Emma, well done and we look forward to seeing you on the podium again.